Security and its leaders held a press conference this afternoon to provide updates. KITV 4's Atli Duklo has the latest from the Valley Isle. Officials with the Maui Space Surveillance Complex suspect a power surge from severe weather damaged a part of the backup generator where that 700 gallons of fuel spilled from. Now that piece is called a floater. It monitors fuel levels and notifies a transfer pump when to fill the generator up with more fuel. Because the floater was damaged, the fuel overflowed. Facility Commander Brigadier General Anthony Mastelier adds this floater is designed to fill safely, but in this instance, the device failed, quote, catastrophically. That, of course, is still being investigated. It's also unclear how deep the fuel seeped into the soil. Mastelier says experts have been working tirelessly over the past week looking into this incident, and they are considering vendors to help with the remediation effort. We have a solemn responsibility to protect this sacred ground upon which we have the privilege to operate. And it is a privilege, not a right. Now, dozens of activists were critical of the military's presence here on Haleakala, visited the site on Sunday and met with Mastelier. Those demonstrators consider Haleakala sacred, and Mastelier says he plans to include them in the cleanup process and promised to communicate with them regularly. Moving forward, Mastelier also pledged to be transparent with the public about this spill. We were told that officials with the Environmental Protection Agency and the Department of Health will come to inspect the affected area. We'll be sure to bring you the very latest here on air and online at KITV.com, so stay with us. Reporting from Haleakala, I'm Ali Duklo, KITV4 Island News.